Would I be the asshole if I left my child in economy while we flew in business class? Throw away because boyfriend and I have been together for five years and are trying to organize our next holiday. He's settled on a destination and so excited at the idea of a family trip. We're looking at flights that will likely be at least nine hours long with business class flights, resort stay, and plenty of experiences. He makes significantly more than me but we will split the cost of the holiday 50-50 including my child's costs. The problem is he does not want to let my child onto the same class on the plane as thinks that. My child should be grateful to be getting an international trip and just enjoy the movies and whatever other amenities there are on the flight, that they can pop up and visit us whenever in business class and that it's not worth the extra cost, even if he were a millionaire. I feel like it's weird to sit apart from my child for a nine-hour flight, even if they're comfortable enough on a plane and I'd probably prefer to downgrade my flight if bf is unwilling to split that specific thinks I'm being weird for wanting to make that concession. And it's not a big deal for child to fly alone. So, would I be the asshole or am I being a helicopter and stressing over something silly? Edit to add just as a further explanation for why he's against it. He has a view where children might not appreciate the value of business class and that his parents went on business class while he flew economy on his own. He absolutely wants to enjoy the business class for himself for the long haul on a nice plane. He's fine with me sitting in economy also or bumping up my child at my own cost. Even though he disagrees morally and thinks I'm being kind of silly, he would accept it. He has spent plenty of money and time on my child for birthdays events and milestones. They get along well and have had very few upsets. Every now and then I've had to stick up for one or the other but I feel like that's to be expected. With blended families. Sit in economy with your son. Let your boyfriend sit in business class alone. If you start letting him exclude your son he will think it's okay and continue pushing that boundary. YWBTA YWBTA. It's not worth the extra cost. There's no reason for any of you to be in business class if that's the case. Family trip. Sounds like your BF would rather have your kids stay at home. Yes, YWBTA. You're happy having a boyfriend that feels this way about your child? Sitting in different classes aside. Read back what he said. That's okay with you? Wow. I feel really sorry for your child. That man doesn't like him her. You're the asshole a big one. Also this relationship doesn't sound equal. He calls the shots because he earns more. But you're ignoring the fact that he doesn't like your child. So you'd also ignore this fact. You're the asshole. While I'm all for letting children earn their privileges because that gives them a self of accomplishment and teaches them to make decisions early on. This ain't it chief. That's like going on a family trip by car but letting your kid ride the bus instead because he won't be able to appreciate the leather seats on my Mercedes. YWBTA if you travel in a different class from your child. Yes. A 13-year-old can travel in a different class fine. Heck. They could travel alone. But there's just something unsettling about a parent being on the same flight but in a different seat class. Does your boyfriend normally disrespect your child? Your BF doesn't see your child as family. What does that tell you? YWBTA. He is a bigger awe. I'll just say that I did this once over 20 years ago and I still feel that it was wrong. It was a five hour flight within the US. I was in a very abusive second marriage situation where my then husband controlled me financially. My child was around 11. At the time, the FAs did not allow my child to come visit us. I don't know if rules changed. If I had to do it over, 
I would either figure out how to pay the difference or move to coach. You said yourself that you pray fair to be with your child and that is good. I will still vote you're the asshole but not for your question here. Rather for being in a relationship with someone who obviously sees your kid not as part of the family but some kind of baggage he has to accept if he wants to be with you. Why WBTA for abandoning your child to be sat with God knows who for nine hours and the fact you are contemplating it makes me worried for him in general life. You're the asshole. So we already know he doesn't like your kid. What other huge red flags are you ignoring with this guy? He very much is the ass. You aren't. You either are. Or are not. A family unit. The kids should be treated as an equal. Cabin crew do not like people constantly popping into business. Other passengers in business hate it even flight will become very unpleasant very quickly. He clearly does not fly a lot. How does he think the kid will feel? His position symptomatic of wider issues IMHO. Why BTAH if you did this? You're the asshole already for being in relationship with a man who treats your child like this. What other things is he doing and saying to or about your child that you're turning a blind eye to? Why WBTA? Two premium economy seats are usually the price of one first class for international flights so treat you and your kid. Just not to the extent your boyfriend seems to think is reasonable for your kid. It's fucked up to treat family members differently on trips. But since this is your boyfriend and not your husband, both his participation and views on whatever you do are sort of irrelevant. He's not paying for your kid. He's not raising your kid. He's not a permanent fixture in your kid's life yet so make the best decision for you and your kid and use that to gain info about whether this boyfriend is actually potential family material. Info. What does your kid want? Follow their lead. Have you given them the options? Edit grammar. I dunno. I'm going to go a bit against the grain here say that it depends on the kid. If your child wants to sit by themselves, Fine. If they don't. Why WBTA? You're the asshole. Then you pay for it entirely by yourself. Problem solve. With this arrangement, there's a good chance you're going to be asked to pay for an unaccompanied minor ticket for your son. He will be unsupervised by you and can't just pop up for a visit whenever, especially on a long haul flight when they'll dim the lights for sleeping. This makes more work for the crew. It's even worse if you're not paying extra because you're presuming on the kindness of strangers to supervise your son. I'd expect that you'd all be sitting together. And if the group is going to be split, someone stays with the child. So yes, you WBTA if you left your child in economy while you fly business. You're going to a lot of effort to avoid giving this child a gender. And I think it's possibly because you believe people will be more upset if they find out your kid is a girl. Maybe assuming girls are more likely to be harassed and or assaulted at that age when left alone. But just so you know kids of either gender can have that happen to them. And regardless of whether your child is a boy or a girl, this is still a shit parenting move. Your boyfriend sounds like a sociopath. Yes. You would be the asshole if you went along with this. Depends on the child and your relationship with your child. You should take the BF out of the equation and ask what's the best for my child to ensure they feel happy, safe, and loved. You're the asshole. Could you imagine if Parrish the thought the plane got into difficulties or actually went down? How terrified your child would be to be on their own away from you.